मॉर्निंग चाणक्य अकेडमी गुड मॉर्निंग टू द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास ट्वेल्थ कॉमर्स इंग्लिश मीडियम फ्रॉम टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद आर ऑनलाइन क्लास रूम फॉर इकनॉमिक्स वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस चैप्टर नंबर वन टुडे द चैप्टर वन कवर्स द टॉपिक ऑफ द कंटेंट रिलेटेड टू ग्राफ इन इकनॉमिक्स तो इन टूडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट मीनिंग ऑफ डायग्राम ग्राफ वॉट इज द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ दीज डाइग्राम्स एंड ग्राफ इन इकनॉमिक्स एंड वॉट आर द वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ डाइग्राम्स दैट वी आर यूजिंग इन आर इकनॉमिक्स ओके लेट इज फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड द मीन इंट्रोडक्शन टू ग्राफ एंड इकनॉमिक्स दैट इज द रिलेशन बिटवीन इकनॉमिक्स एंड ग्राफ आर दे कनेक्टेड येस इकनॉमिक एक्सप्लेन्स एनालाइज वेरियस इकनॉमिक इवेंट्स अकरिंग इन द रियल वर्ल्ड राइट वट एवर डिफरेंट एक्टिविटीज दैट आर अकरिंग इन द रियल वर्ल्ड आर कवर्ड इन द टॉपिक ऑफ इकनॉमिक्स एंड टू अंडरस्टैंड सच टॉपिक्स वी रिक्वायर द प्रजेंटेशन ऑफ द इंफॉर्मेशन एंड दिस इज डन विद द हेल्प ऑफ ग्राफ और डायग्राम Economic explains and analyzes economic events like demand, supply, change in price, change in population, etc., and so on. These results or this data are collected, analyzed, and the result reaches to every common person through the picture that depict the information, and that is done with the help of graph and. diagram so by now you have understood that when we are studying economics it is having an important place also the graph and diagrams are having important place in economics right now let us understand the meaning of diagram diagram is the thing but the representation of observable data with the use of picture or by the way of picture in presenting the data with the help of diagram we are using different scales and measurement but yes keep one thing in mind that knowledge of statistics is not required that means any common person or a layman with the help of simple diagram or graph can make everyone understand the data that he or she is knowing that means to present the data using such diagrams no statistical formula or content information is required but when we are presenting the same information with the help of graph that means representing is requiring the use of statistical tools and most probably or every time it is drawn on the sheet of graph paper so by now you are clear the with the difference between diagram as well as graph diagram is the one that is a way of presenting the information which does not require statistical knowledge whereas graph is again an another way of representing the information but it requires statistical tools such as graph now let us have a look at the importance of these diagrams and graph in economics now my question is to you If I write a big twenty paragraph, twenty line paragraph giving all the information about our school, say for example the school having is having classes one to twelve, English medium and Gujarati medium, number of boys and girls in each medium, number of teachers in each medium. You have what you would feel. You have to read each and every line. Then you have to underline the figures, right? And then you can conclude. about the information of the school that is number of boys and girls in the school number of teachers in the school etc but on the other hand if i simply draw one graph right one bar diagram in which mentions two different mediums boys and girls in each medium how does it make sense yes it becomes easy to understand that means when we are using diagrams and graph in economics all the complicated confusion and big paragraphs becomes easy to understand 
along with this even the changing trends can be observed in one single graph or diagram see for example we are checking out the change in temperature in delhi city for the last 10 years what would be the better way writing 10 different line with mentioning the temperature or simply drawing one graph in which 10 different points or 10 different graphs are shown which simply shows you the changing trend right the changes in the various sectors can be understood easily different sectors include in economy primary sector secondary sector tertiary sector population keeps on changing which uh, the educated people are going more in the tertiary sector that is service sector or whether they are going in the industrial sector or the country is farming oriented that is main occupation is farming how come population is changing what different changes are observed in the states all these kind of sector changes can be understood easily with the help of diagrams such as pie chart and comparison can be made easily right so with this let us just have a quick revision that why diagrams and graph are important in economics complicated data confusing data can be easily understood changing trends in the economy can be easily understood various sectors the information about various sectors can be concluded easily and this comparisons becomes easy even it becomes easy to understand the difficult principles like the principles of demand supply change in price etc next we are going to see about the different aspects to be considered while drawing the diagram or graph that is whenever we are presenting any information with the help of any diagram or graph then what things you need to keep in mind aapko kin kin cheezon ka dhyan rakhna chahiye sabse pehle hai choice of type of diagram that is what type of diagram you are selecting to present your data the right type of diagram or graph must be chosen to make a picture more effective certain data can be presented in bar diagram while some requires pie chart so as a user we must make the right choice to make the picture or our data more effective right And then second point is clarity of the content a picture must look neat and clean different color different shades and different drawing must be used to denote the various components of the picture scale and measure should be taken appropriately representation of axes on the graph must be done properly with appropriate details on both x and y axis don't worry we are right now discussing the points the same will be explained in the further slides with the live examples the data table and source of data are also equally important that is we need to mention the source of the data from where the data has been taken to make it more reliable and more authentic and last one is the method of calculating data when the picture is not drawn from self explanatory data but is drawn from the simplified statistical formula then we must mention which statistical data we are using and it should be appropriate to get the accurate result quick revision once again what are the aspects that we need to consider choice of type of diagram whether we are using bar graph or pie chart or or line series clarity that is neat and cleanliness should be mentioned proper scale should be taken proper representation of the x and y axis along with the information that they are presenting the table data and source and the method of calculation now let us have a look at different types of diagrams that we are going to study today pictogram scatter diagram line diagram circle diagram bar diagram and pie chart yes so first let us have a look at pictogram and bar diagram see over here you can find two different types of images over here one is pictogram second one is bar diagram 
what do you understand by seeing this image pictogram can you conclude anything yes looking at the pictogram or the image on the left side you can directly conclude that okay this graph is showing the information about the number of cupcakes sold on each day of a week that is monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday and sunday right same way on the right side you will find a simple bar diagram you will find different colors different heights and the years are mentioned on the x axis right to ye aapko dono cheeze kya interpret aap isse kya interpret kar sakte you can conclude that simple bar chart mein koi teen different type ki information 2011 se leke 2014 ki aapko present ki hai all green color are having same information all orange color are depicting same information right so by looking at the chart you can conclude that the smallest value was in the year 2013 for the all colors be it orange green or blue right so yahi cheez agar paragraph mein mention ki hoti if we could have mentioned the same in paragraph it would have become bit lengthy time consuming as well as boredom but looking into the same image or the graph makes it more attractive if you look at the pictogram right each and every single unit is depicting some n number of units like one single cupcake is equal to single is equal to 6 units of cup cake that means agar itni information di hai to by looking at this pictogram we can conclude that on monday five cupcakes into six unit that is 30 units were sold this half depicts three cupcakes so we can understood that on tuesday 12 plus 3 yani ki 15 units were sold check out the difference between the two when we are presenting the data on graph it requires x and y axis whereas when we are presenting the same information on pictogram no such graphs are required but when we are presenting it with the help of bar diagram we require x axis y axis proper mentioning of the years and the amount scaling everything is important right second we are going to see the difference between clustered diagram and divided bar diagram when we are talking about bar diagrams there are two different other types that is clustered bar diagram divided bar diagram clustered bar diagram is the one that is presenting the multiple information about two or three different uh, variables on the same graph like this particular graph is showing you about the origin of different vehicles in the different continents asia europe and usa so the three informations are all together presented in the graph on the other hand if you look at the subdivided bar diagram you will come to know that one single graph or one single bar is having the information all all the three different fields like for one particular year say 1968 to 69 it is showing the number of students in all the different field that is science arts and commerce so when we are having classified data for different years we can use this subdivided bar diagram right moving ahead next topic is the difference between scatter diagram and line diagram can you find the difference yes correct the difference is when we are using scatter diagram the information are presented with the help of small dots on the graph paper and when we are joining this dots it becomes your line diagram keep one thing in mind that the same line diagram is nothing but the time based line diagram or the time series curve in which x axis represents the time which can be in the form of month or year or days last one is your circle diagram and pie chart circle there is a difference between the circle diagram and pie chart 
when we are talking about pie chart it mentions the information converted into the degrees right and when we are talking about circle diagram that means the information or the comparison is shown with the help of size of different circles right check out over here the circle diagram two different progress chart uh, circles are drawn for 42% as well as 14% whereas when we are information when we are presenting the information with the help of pie chart that means different sectors or different classified information are provided with different colors let us have a quick look at the different types of diagrams that we have learned pictogram scatter diagram line diagram circle diagram bar diagram and pie chart as we have discussed prior about the aspects that we need to consider while drawing the diagram or the graph what were they first one is choice of type of diagram like when we are presenting simple sales of ice cream we went with pictogram on the other hand if we have to show the same sales of ice cream in three different cities then we could have selected the simple bar chart or multiple bar chart clarity yes you can find the neatness third point was scale of measures that is appropriate units must be mentioned to present the data third fourth one is representation of axes that is x and y axis which is already mentioned as per the requirement when we are drawing graph same way when we are doing it with the help of pie charts we must also mention over here the proper information about the sectors right so today we have learned the following topics like which includes meaning of diagram graph importance of diagrams and graph in economics different types of diagrams with this i would like to conclude our today's session thank you have a nice day stay fit stay at home